Welcome friends, I'm Will Whitfield with W3 Productions. In a previous tutorial, I demonstrated how to use materials with alpha transparency in Blender 2.8 in the EV Render Engine. Um, before, what you had to do is add a couple of nodes and change the alpha blend node. And that but get kind of tedious if you have dozens of materials to apply and I'll demonstrate that right quick what you had to do in the past. In the past you had to use a transparent shader mix it with use a mixed shader to mix it with the principal shader and then use the um, that actual material I'll use the control shift left click to preview what that's supposed to look like. Of, of the alpha information. And then you have to go down to the settings for the material and change it from opaque to alpha blend. Not too bad you have to do it once, but if you do it over and over that can be time consuming. So um, in the latest version of Blender 2.8 development, um, at least as of June 8th, uh, there's a new input in the principal shader that makes this a lot easier. And actually right now it seems like the old method doesn't even, even work. So I'm going to get rid of these two notes. We will still have to change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend every time though. So if you notice, with that texture, it's fed into an input now in the principal shader called alpha. And that alpha is just a slider from 0 to 1. 1, I believe, being opaque to 0 being uh, transparent. But anyways... See if I can get that actually, yeah. So you see zero makes it completely transparent, one makes it opaque. So when we feed the image texture to it, it will be opaque where it needs to be and transparent where it needs to be. So we we'll just do that for every material. So we'll go to the wisps. It's already set up for the my particular object that I imported from somewhere else. Change it to Alpha Blend, and you see it begin to transform and um, become more wispy like it should. And you see here in the preview as well. Bang, same story. And that's all I would have to do for every material in the hair, every material um, in this character, including the eyes. That's why you can't see the irises right now because I haven't done that for the eyes yet. But once you do, you should be all good to go. So that is one of the cool new features of the latest version of Blender 2.8. Um, you also notice there's something different about the image textures. Um, before you had a setting here for image textures that would say either it's colored data or non-colored data. We use non-colored data for things like normal uh, maps and things like that. It seems to be replaced with something else now um, with interpolation, linear, uh, smart, things like that. So it'll be interesting to find out more about those in the, in the development notes. Anyways, I don't want to ramble on. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and leave a like if you'd like to find this helpful. Uh, thanks, have a blessed day. And the words were all written in tongues, so I didn't really understand them. But how many of y'all know the Lord will always leave you a ham in the bush? Is that, is that wrong?